Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Ricky here from Ricky's Macintosh, here with my second part of my iOS 6 Beta 1 preview. Now the features I want to talk to you guys about today are Siri, and if you guys watched the keynote, you noticed that Apple added some cool functionality to Siri. She can do a lot more now. I'm also going to show you the new clock application, which has been eluding the iPad for so long, we've all been waiting for it to come out. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's just a simple clock application. I will show you what it looks like. But it's one of those applications where you wondered why it wasn't put in in the first place. So we'll take a look at that. And then I'll show you Safari iCloud tabs. And this is pretty cool. I've been using them daily. I find myself using them more and more each day. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start off with Siri. Now the things that Siri can do now, she can figure out sports scores. She can now make reservations at restaurants. And she can now look up movie times. So let's go ahead and figure out some sports scores here. Siri, what was the score of the Miami Heat game? This one's going to hurt. The Heat overcame the Thunder by a score of 121 to 106 yesterday. The Thunder are out of the playoffs. I didn't want to hear that. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Siri, what movies are playing at AMC? So what's cool about this is you have movie times all listed right here. You go ahead and click on one. We'll click on Men in Black 3. And you have reviews from Rotten Tomato. You have all the information, who's in the movie. If you click right here, you can watch the movie trailer all within Siri. So it's really cool. Some really cool added functionality to Siri. And now let's try... Siri, make me a reservation. Make a reservation at Olive Garden for 5 p.m. Looking for restaurants named Garden. The House of Secret Garden doesn't have a table for 2 or 5 p.m. or later. So, as you guys know, I just asked for Olive Garden, so it found the House of Garden. Um, but what's cool about this is Apple is now using open tables to make uh, reservation. So you can now make reservations from Siri, which is really cool. Uh, something to help speed up your day. If you're trying to make a quick dinner reservation, you can now ask Siri. She'll go ahead and do that for you and you'll be all set, ready to go. So let's go ahead and move on to the fancy new clock application, which is right here. You can see it's got a nice design. We'll click on the clock application. And what you notice right off the bat is you have the same options as you would on the normal clock. You have the world clock, you have the alarm, the stopwatch, and then you have the timer. So these do look a little bit more fancy. Nothing too crazy though. Again, it's just like the application you would see on the iPhone. You can go ahead and do a lap. So there's the timer. I've set an alarm for four o'clock. That's the time I wake up every morning for work. And you can see that it has it all listed out here throughout the day. Again, nothing too crazy, just the clock app. And finally, let's go ahead and take a look at Safari iCloud tabs. And this is, like I said, one that I've used quite a bit. So let's say you have some tabs open up on your, uh, on your Mac or on your iPhone or iPod Touch. What's cool about this is you now see this cloud icon right up top here. You hit the cloud icon and you can see the tabs that I have open. So on my Mac, I have Apple iOS 6 Preview. On my iPhone, I have TLD Today's website, Google AdSense, and also ESPN Home. So what's nice about this is if you're looking up something on your iPhone, and then you go grab your iPad and go sit on the couch and you want to see it on a bigger screen. You don't have to go find where you were at. It's going to just take you right to where you were at. And there we go. I'm at ESPN and I used this tab from my iPhone. So these are some new features in iOS 6 Beta 1. I'll probably have one more video showing you the rest of the features. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would appreciate it if you would leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Also. Check out my video from previously. I did the iOS 6 beta one. This is my first video. I'll go ahead and put a link to that right after this video. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Bye-bye.